or I have a question for each of our uh, wonderful witnesses. Thank you for being here. My first question is for Ms. Ferrier. I noticed in your presentation, you said that you had 58,000 members across the country with most of them in Ontario. Um, I've looked, just looked on your website and you are uh, obviously, uh, your membership is, uh, is, is available based on a fee and the fee is tax deductible. But is it fair to assume that there are way more than 58,000 PSWs in Canada? Uh, bang on, absolutely. Um, we're only hitting a very small number of, of support workers. We would guesstimate just in Ontario alone, there's approximately 130,000. Oh, okay. So uh, then to my next assumption uh, for you to uh, verify or not. My assumption is that a large, uh, in fact, uh, a huge percentage of the PSWs would be female and would be immigrant or minority. Is that correct? No. Okay. There seems Clarify. to be a big focus. Yeah, there seems to be a really big focus on the GTA when you look at Ontario, for instance. Um, mm -hmm. The majority, yes, in the GTA, the majority of personal support workers are um, of different ethnic backgrounds. They are immigrants, many of them, um, and they are single women. A lot of them are. Um, but then as you go from the GTA outwards to the rest of, of Ontario, and I'm using Ontario as an example, um, you get more into um, Caucasian, uh, 30 to 35 is the demographic, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. a single mother, divorcee. That's typically okay. what we see. Okay. And, and Ms. Ferrier, you referenced in your remarks uh, somewhere, uh, that PSWs used to be a robust profession yeah. in the past. Could you clarify for us, what was, what's the difference between today and yesterday? Well, let's go back about 15. I've been a PSW for almost 15 years and for 15, 20 years ago when, you know, people would drive their own cars to long-term care facilities. Um, they, the healthcare aides at that time would be able to take time with them and, and, and not have, you know, a ratio of one to 15 residents in long-term care. They would have a ratio of one to five. They would have that time to be that support worker to these individuals. Now what we're seeing, and this started about four years ago, we're losing personal support workers at a 33% rate quarterly because they want to work other places. They are exhausted. The burnout is immense. Somewhere in the last you know, 20 years, we've really lost that quality care aspect and that continuity of care aspect that Canadians, truthfully, outward looking in, are known for. So that, that's what I meant by used to be robust, and now we're, we've lost that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much.